Well, Montgomery County's prosecuting attorney, Matt Heck, was appointed special prosecutor in this case. His office says they just received the reports from BCI this week. So from here, they'll go over the case and make a decision. They can file charges against the officer who shot Young. They can convene, and convene a grand jury or take no action at all. Since the August 24th shooting, the officers involved were considered victims by the city and therefore afforded victims' rights under Marcy's law. That includes not releasing their names. But with this latest development, Young's family is demanding their victims' rights be honored too. Nearly four months after her granddaughter's death, Nadine Young wears Takaya Young's ashes in a shimmering pendant around her neck. I got the gold chain yesterday because she's golden to me and I want her to constantly shine, period. Nadine and her attorney, Sean Walton, sat down with me after I informed them that the investigation into the officer who shot Takaya was sent to a special prosecutor in Montgomery County. We've um, not been aware of what the timeline looks like, what the process looks like, uh, whether there will be special prosecutors or you know whether it'll be uh, handled in-house. So uh, there has not been um, in, in, in my opinion, the uh, proper amount of, of uh, communication. Proper communication with the victim's family is guaranteed in Ohio under Marcy's law. Even though the officer who shot Young, identified by Walton as Connor Grubb, has not been charged with a crime, Young is the victim in the context of this investigation. Victims are entitled to an active role in criminal prosecutions. They're entitled to information about investigations. Elizabeth Well is the legal director for the Ohio Crime Victim Justice Center, which is now working with Walton to ensure the young family is afforded those rights as to Kaya's next of kin. I have not, just to be super clear, gotten any indication that they wouldn't be kept informed. But my concern is that if the perception is the law enforcement officers are the true victims, that's going to exclude her family. Immediately after the August 24th shooting, Blendon Township Police classified both officers involved in the encounter as assault victims because one officer's hand was still in the window when Young started driving and her car struck the other officer. The police department withheld both officers' names, citing their rights under Marcy's law. It's mutually exclusive. If you say that Takaya is a victim, then you're necessarily saying that the officers who killed her are not victims. But if you say that they are victims, that the officers are victims, then you are saying that Takaya is not a victim. To Young's family, the answer to that debate is clear. It didn't make sense for her to get killed blatantly like she did and get shot in her heart, taking her and her baby away. It just, it ripped the family, it just like the ripping is still there. It's a big, big pain. A spokesman for the Blendon Township Police Department tells me they also didn't know about the special prosecutor, nor do they know about the results of the BCI investigation. Now, once they do get those results, once the prosecutor is done with them, the spokesman said the department will begin its own administrative investigation into the case. The Franklin County Prosecutor's Office says the use of a special prosecutor in an officer-involved shooting case is common practice. The case will still be considered in Franklin County and before a grand jury from Franklin County if the special prosecutor, of course, decides to go that route. Jared.